Hey everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another Makers with Heart Mystery Envelope video collaboration. This month, Katie sent out the envelopes to all the Makers with Heart. We all got the same thing and her rules are, she sent out this little note that says, ho, 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 here we go. Find a one sheet wonder pattern and create a Christmas card, card kit, or layout. This can be for 12 by 12 or six by six or multiples and make sure you use home for Christmas and coordinating cardstock colors and or embellishments. Okay, so I'm using the uh, stamp set called home for Christmas uh, card making and uh, home for Christmas papers and coordinating card stocks. So we got two six by six pieces and a zip strip. And I just pulled a pattern off Pinterest. Okay, so I've got it here and I'm just going to cut these two six by six pieces up. All right, so this one's one by six and then I'm gonna cut it two inches. And then I'll cut three blocks at one and three quarters each, just making sure I've got the right measurements there. So I'll have three pieces at one and three quarters each. And then that little bit is uh, a little extra. And then um, I'm going to cut this one at three by three. And then I'll cut it on the diagonal. So I'm just putting it in and cutting corner to corner. And then these last, uh, this last bit, I'm going to cut at uh, one and a quarter square. I'm going to have four of them. Sorry, one and a half square. <laughs> so I'll have four of those. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this plaid piece. Okay, so I'm going to have enough pieces here to create eight cards. So I'm going to do four designs. And then the leftovers, um, you can make second cards uh, with the rest. Okay, so this is the first design. I have a piece of candy apple at four by five and a quarter. This will be a landscape and I'm going to take these two um, triangle pieces and place them at the top and then I'm going to pull my stamp set out. So I'm just going to use a couple of the stamps from the set and one of the dies. Okay, so I'm going to use that zip strip on this one and the sentiment that I have pulled it says, wishing you a warm and wonderful Merry Christmas full of peace, love, and joy. Okay, so I'm going to place that in my Misty, and I've set it up so that I know exactly where to stamp so that I won't hit any of these pieces of pattern paper, and it's a new stamp, so I have to season it, and I'm going to ink it up with black ink, and then I'll just stamp it out right there on the candy apple paper. Okay, so I'm going to do it a couple times so that I have a nice, dark, crisp, stamped image. A little too much ink there, so I'm kind of cleaning it off and just looking at where I need ink. Stamp it again. And the beauty of the Misty is you can stamp it as many times as you want. Make it as dark as you want. Okay, I'll get that out of the way and then I can start building my card. So I have a card base and I'm just gonna layer everything up with glue. Pretty simple card design with the one sheet wonders. Um, you can make them as fancy as you want or as simple as you want. And then I thought I was gonna need to cut that zip strip um, after I put it on that card, uh, but then I realized I can put it in my trimmer and just trim it down to uh, five and a quarter and it'll fit. So we'll go ahead and add that. So these are great designs. Uh, if you need to bust out a whole bunch of cards and you don't have a lot of paper on hand. So you can create eight cards with two six by six squares. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add these two triangle pieces. And then, of course, I have to add a little shine and sparkle, right? So these are uh, flat sequins from, uh, this calls for confetti, and I've scattered a bunch of those around. Okay, so there's card number one. And it's nice and flat and easy to mail as well. Got some close-up shots there. Okay, moving on. 
Now we'll do the second card. So I've got these three pieces that are one and three quarters by two, and I'm going to cut a backer uh, to mat them with. And it works, and this pattern works great if you've got a continuous design and you can line them up. And then they'll just be broken up on that base there. So I've cut my base at two and a quarter by five and a half. And then I'm going to use the light side of pine. So I'm going to cut this at four and a quarter by five and a half. So it will be the base of my card. And I'm going to stamp on it. So I'm going to use the same sentiment because it'll fit nicely in that lower right hand corner of the pine cardstock. I'm checking to make sure that's the one I want to use, and it is. So we'll go ahead and set it up in the Misty, and we'll stamp that out. So we'll go directly to the cardstock. Okay, so I'm going to use black ink again. We'll just get that set up here and making sure I've got it placed correctly. Pick up my stamp with the Misty, and then we'll ink it up and stamp it out. So I will create a playlist and I'll put it at the end of this video and I'll also put a link in the description below and all of the Makers with Heart Mystery Envelope videos go live on the same day on the 25th of every month. So you'll be able to check out all of the videos and see what everyone has done with these same exact supplies from Katie. Okay, so we have our sentiment all stamped out we can start assembling the card. Okay, so before I put this card on a card base, I'm going to go ahead and assemble most of it. So we'll get that design lined up again with just the breaks in between. And then we'll add that whole panel to the card front. And then check your stash. I'm going to bring in some of this gold embellishing thread. It's a retired product, um, but you may still have some in your stash or something else that's similar. And I'm just going to cut off a length. And then um, if you run your bone folder along it, it takes out the kinks from the packaging and smooths it out. And then I'm just going to wrap it around my card uh, right next to where that black mat is. So I'm just using a glue dot and I'll wrap it around. Sorry, it's off camera here, but I'll wrap that around and then secure it with another glue dot. And then the whole panel will get glued to my card front. Just a little extra something. Okay, so now I've got these um, black paperboard uh, die cuts. Uh, these are the shapes collection that are in the essentials catalog and I've pulled this bow. Super cute. I wish there were more bows in that collection, um, but there's one. So I'm going to use that on this card. And we'll go ahead and attach that with a glue dot. And I think this card is my favorite of the bunch. Okay, here's some close up shots. Simple, but elegant. I like it. Okay, now I'm going to use an embossing folder. This one is called Christmas Florals, and I've embossed this on White Daisy cardstock, and um, the color that comes in the Home for Christmas card making, um, or not card making, in the Home for Christmas cardstock collection is French vanilla, so you can easily do the same thing on French vanilla. I just grabbed some white daisy. So um, now I'm going to trim down that one uh, six by one piece of plaid to uh, five and a quarter, and then I'll back it with some black. I'll cut that just a quarter inch larger. 
Okay, then I'm going to bring this other sentiment from Home for Christmas in, and it says, warm winter wishes to you and yours. So I'm going to stamp that out on some white daisy because I can't stamp directly to the embossed piece. So I'm just inking that up in black ink. And then we'll trim around it to add to our card front. We'll get that stamped out and trimmed up. Okay. All right, so that's the basic design and we can start gluing everything together. And you could easily make these same card designs with the opposite sides of these pattern papers. And then of course there's more designs in the whole collection. Okay, so we'll get that embossed piece down. I like the simplicity of this card. Just that pop of color. And then the sentiment. And then just for a little extra bling, I'm going to bring in these pearls. They're flat back pearls and they're from Buttons Galore and more. And I'm just going to take three of them and line them up on the left side here. Okay. All right, here's some close up shots. There's Stencils that go with this embossing folder, you could add more to it, but I like the simplicity of that design. Okay, last card, I'm going to use these squares, and I've matted them in black, and then I've run some candy apple through using that same embossing folder called Christmas Florals. And then I'm going to use this uh, banner uh, swag, um, and I've cut that in pine, and I'm not exactly sure where I want to place it. Uh, but I've cut that out and it'll go somewhere on my card. And then I've cut a piece of pine cardstock and I'm going to stamp out that same sentiment. Warm winter wishes to you and yours. So I'm going to ink that up in black ink. Stamp it out a couple of times and then off camera I'll trim it out and then I'll create a banner on one side. So I'll dovetail it. Okay, now we're ready to start assembling. And we'll go ahead and place that embossed piece down. And then I've glued together all of these squares. And then I'm just kind of placing things around. And it kind of looks to me like a window pane. So we'll see in what I like here. I like it right below those four squares. Okay, I like that. All right, so we'll go ahead and glue those together. And looking at how I, which direction I want that to go. These are great cards for mailing too because there's not a ton of bulk and um, you can decide what kind of embellishments you want to use. Okay, we'll go ahead and add that little banner and then for the last little touch, I'm going to bring in these black die cuts again, and I'm just going to pull a heart. And I'll just place that right in the center. And we'll add that with a glue dot. So I'll have some close-up shots in a second. All right. So again, be sure to check out the link at the end to see all the other Makers with Heart Mystery Envelope videos. And then I have all these leftovers where I can make four more cards. And here's the four designs. So I'll make a list of all these supplies with links in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. I publish twice a week, one scrapbook layout video and one card making video per week. And thanks for watching.